<laughs> I think at the next checkpoint... What the fuck? Ah, yeah, I was just about to say, at some point we've got to go talk to this knobhead. Small glands. Small glands, that's what we've got Ah, uh, right, okay. So that'll be for, yeah, a gun or a, an ability. Yeah. Well, I'll say you finally got, what's that, one out of two trophies <coughs> you need to do? Mm hmm. Yep. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Um. I've got to do the coin for Ace. I've got to kill a boss by myself without taking damage, and I think that's it. Damn. Really does my weekend. <clears throat> mm. All right, you can talk to that douchebag. Douchebag. He's, he's one of those assholes who I got to kill the pan wolf as well. Yeah, right. That when I saw that, I was just like, well, that's a rip off from. Again, Dark Souls, isn't it? You know, that stupid yeah. big wolf with the sword. It's like, how ridiculous yeah. is that? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, but you're much more into the sort of ridiculousness Japanese games go into, whereas I just look at it and go, it's nonsense. Uh, yeah, but like the actual story behind it is great. They've done really well writing that boss. Oh, what? That his, his owner died and he's protecting his yeah. grave. I mean, it's a bit run by numbers, isn't it? Um, it's, mate, it's, it's certainly inventive. No. Well, put it this way, like, where else have you seen that kind of thing? Like, with the, with the sword and stuff, like, right. I don't, I don't like Dark Souls at all. But well, like, that yeah, but I mean, stories, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, but a dog with a sword, it's just retarded. I mean, it's just, doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, yeah, I know, but it's like it's a giant dog. Can that just be enough? Like, giving it a sword just doesn't work. It's just like a ten-year-old getting a bit overexcited with ridiculous oh. ideas. It's it's something I'd expect to see in like uh, a Hideo Kojima game. You know, like uh, Metal Gear Solid with the giant whale that's on fire jumping out of the desert. It's just like well. Pff, Literally, it just goes beyond ridiculous, and it's like, I just don't care about it. I can't follow this crap. <laughs> but that's just me. I mean, yeah, some people like it. Fair enough. I don't know what doing to that, but... <laughs> um... <laughs> Boing. <laughs> right. Upgrade. Uh... Actually, I'm going to um, basically, from here, you pick a direction, and it, the, we use that key to go to that world. So you've got one ahead of us, one to the right, one to the left, uh, one behind us. So whichever one you fancy, really, I can't remember which one is which. Oh, there's one up there as well. Mm. Oh, whoops. Don't tell me you <laughs> fell off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, it's going to take me straight there. I wonder if that... Uh, no, okay. Uh... This one we just teleport straight to. Uh, no, it is. Okay, yeah, from there to there. Over there. It's a bit of a cocky way of doing it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hmm. We've actually got to pick the specific one. Oh. That's right, because the Undying King gives us. Fuck. Uh, a key. And then we use that to go to the different worlds, but 
At this point, we have got to choose. Why? Why the hell would they have that? Okay, fair enough. Um, I always remember going this way for some reason. Mm, doesn't look familiar. It would be a lot easier if you were here, because we could both explore these places. Mm. Ah, this looks like the one. Good guess. There's usually a little note outside. Yeah. Whatever that said.